we are continuing on looking at hydrocarbons, category of organic compounds. There's another video on alkanes, which are saturated hydrocarbons. Alkanes have the maximum amount of hydrogen possible for those carbons. So now we're going to look at some unsaturated hydrocarbons. They can take more hydrogen. They take more hydrogen by having a double or triple bond. Because we can add hydrogen across that bond, turn it into a single bond. If we have a double bond, then we're dealing with an alkene. In, in the naming of these compounds, the suffix we're ending with will be an ene. -E. If we have a triple bond, carbon-carbon triple bond, then we're dealing with an alkyne, and the suffix of the parent name is going to end up with a y-n-e. So one of the differences compared to alkanes is now our parent name, our parent chain is the longest chain, but it has to have a double or triple bond. So it can miss a longer chain because that chain doesn't have the double or triple bond. So our parent chain now has to have the double or triple bond. And the other difference is in numbering the system, our base numbering system is going to be to give us the lowest number for the carbon carbon or carbon um, carbon carbon double or triple bonds. And when we number them, going from n to n, one, two, three, four, we see that the two carbons are taking numbers. The first one is the one we're going to use. So this would be a two um, ene, and it's two coming from both directions, so there's no difference in that one. We're going to deal with the side chains as, as being the same. So they have um, a side chain of methyl comes from methane. Methane has one carbon. And then we have a new thing for um, double bonds. We're going to have to add another label, cis or trans label. So, looking at this bond here, we have a sigma bond right in the middle of the two carbons. And then we have a, the hybridization on these carbons are sp2 hybridization. That second bond, the pi bond, is coming from these p orbitals that stick up and below the, the plane that contains all the atoms there. And they overlap to make our pi bond. And this is coming from our sp2 hybrid orbitals, that's our sigma bond. But what it means is that we can't rotate this molecule around. We can't, on a single bond, we can rotate around a single bond. But um, these bonds we can't rotate, so we can't just rotate the right side of this to get that methyl group from the bottom to the top. So this is the difference between molecules. They are physically different molecules with different properties. Even though if we could rotate them, we could get the other version out. But we can't rotate them. So what we do is we look at the line that contains that bond. Look at that line that contains that bond. And we have different things that we can look at. So here we're looking at the main chain of molecule. Over here we're going to look at four rings. So the main chain of molecule comes in, falls the line, comes back off on the same side. The same side. So that would be a cis. On this one, the main chain comes in, falls the line. Then goes off on the opposite side. That would be a trans. So otherwise, we have one, two, three, four carbons. One, two, three, four. So we're dealing with a butene. So 
So four carbon alkane would be butane, we turn it into an E and E to show a double bond being present. When we count, it doesn't matter what side we count from. Put it on the bottom. Either way, we see that the bond is on the two, three bond. We take a smaller dose, so this is a two butene. And this is a cis two butene. So, methylpropene, we've given it a name. It doesn't seem to have all the features that we expect, but let's play it out. So, propene is our root. We have three carbons, and we see that each bond is an end bond. So it doesn't really matter which one you put it on, it still follows the same, it still is the equivalent compound. So methyl, we have to put a methyl in this. If we put a methyl here, we turn a three carbon chain into a four carbon chain. Same with over here. We put a methyl here, we turn our three carbon into a four carbon and become butene. So the only spot where it can be is the central carbon. So we add our CH3 there. This carbon has our is four bonds. So this one is getting two hydrogens to give it is four bonds. And whenever we have two identical groups on one of the carbons for a double bond, the cis trans designation doesn't work anymore. So if we flip these upside down, as we did this methyl group, we'd have the exact same compound. So whenever we have two identical groups on so one carbon of a double bond, we do not need that cis trans designation. So here we have a triple bond. So we have an alkyne. We find the longest chain containing that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's four either way. So number them one, two, three, four. And I can't start from either of these carbons because that will give this one carbon four. So this has to be my number one. It's the lowest number for our triple bond. So we have a Four carbon butane turning into a triple bond, so butyne. The triple bonds on the first carbon, so it's a one butyne. Triple bonds have no cis trans isomers because it's a linear structure through that triple bond. So here our parent chain is two carbons, double bond. So two carbons, ethane becomes ethene. Either way we count this, we'd have to have a one for our carbon. So we don't need to number this one because there's no difference, no possible differences at least not for the bond, but we have two fluorines. So we have a difluoro. A difluoroethene. But now we have to tell where those are. So now we can number them. One, two. So we have a one, two difluoroethene. But there's a difference between having them both up on top and one up on top and one on the bottom. So we are, again, the two fluorines on the same side of the line bisecting the double bond. So it's a cis. So we have a cis 1,2 difluoroethene. So on this point, we want to find our longest chain. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a heptane turned into a double bond, so heptene. So it didn't matter which way we went on this, we're going to have a 
a single methyl group on it. But first, we want to number our heptene based on the double bond. So we can do one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. So we would pick the smaller number. So that would be our double bond. So we have a three heptene. The main chain is on the same side of the bond. So we have a cis three heptene. We have our methyl group. And that would be on carbon one, two, three, our two methyl. So it's a two methyl cis three heptene. I think there's one more cutting. Okay, so draw one out. Our root is pentene, five carbons. Two pentene, so carbon one, two. We have our double bond between carbon two and three. Let's number these one, two, three, four, five. We have an ethyl on carbon three. Just fill in the missing hydrogens. Each carbon has a total of four bonds. That one. So this one doesn't have a cis or trans, so why not? So on the right side of the double bond, left side we have a different attachment of hydrogen and methyl. Right side, we have ethyl and ethyl. We have two identical species on the same carbon of double bond. There's no need for a cis trans. A cis trans doesn't mean uh, anything at that point. 